Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so I just wanna play in some makeup today, you guys. Of course, you know I got a lot of new goodies from BeautyCon as well as just shopping with my girls in Vegas, in Cali, everywhere. We was just making it rain on this makeup, okay? <laughs> so I have a lot of goodies from my hauler bag and shopping and all kind of stuff. But the palette I wanna play with today is one that I actually purchased before I went to BeautyCon and just hadn't gotten a chance to play in it. And it is this Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro Palette. This is the collab palette with Stacey Marie. She's a makeup artist. I'm not that familiar with her at all. But honey, baby. Now, I wanted the first palette when it first came out, but I never got around to purchasing it. And it just had so many gorgeous colors and highlighters and stuff. So when they announced that they were coming out with an even bigger and better one, you guys know I jumped right on it. So this is what this palette looks like. I cannot wait to test it out. I kind of played around with it a little bit, but not too much. So I want to really do a colorful look today. There is a mirror in this palette also, but this palette is huge. There are 40 shades. 30 mattes, 10 shimmers, 3 highlighters, and I'm here for it, okay? The back of the palette, it shows the um, shades as well, the ingredients, some information about the palette. So it's a really, really nice palette. Now, I paid about 59 bucks for this palette. So, yeah, I think as long as it performs, it's definitely worth it because it's a lot of shadows and highlighters for about 60 bucks so i can't wait to try that out now i also want to try out this pixie skin treats hydrating milky mist that i got at the pixie booth at beautycon it is a new product i paid ten dollars for it there and i want to see how that hydrates my face also i want to try out this glowing moisturizer with citrine that i got in my hauler bag at beautycon i want to try this out as well for foundation, I'm going in with this Becca foundation that my girl Lily got for me at TJ Maxx. We actually did some shopping in Vegas, of course. <laughs> you know, when they saw TJ Maxx, they just had to go. So my girl bought me this Becca foundation and it's in the color mahogany, I believe. So I'm gonna try that out. Also, I got this video primer. It's a illuminating primer that I got in my hauler bag so we're gonna try this out as well let me just show you guys this pretty bottle this is what the bottle looks like can't wait to try that out also since I'm using the Becca foundation today I want to go in with this Becca powder that I got in my boxy charm this is the Hydra mist set and refresh powder that is supposed to give that cool feeling so I'm gonna see how this is gonna work with this Becca foundation because the foundation is matte I believe so I don't know how that's gonna work out but we gonna find out and just a few other whatever new goodies I can find to try out I also want to try out one of my colored rain lipsticks that I got in my mystery bag and this one is cherry blossom so I'm gonna do a bold colorful eye look see how that lipstick looks see how this foundation looks and we just gonna get it cracking now um, I'm probably gonna end up doing a voiceover for the makeup portion just because of the fact that since I want to do a rainbow look, it might take me a while to do it. Oh, this feels good and it smells good, okay? I could spray stuff on my face all day. <laughs> it's just because it feels so good. So, smells good, feels good. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to end up doing a voiceover for the makeup portion because I don't want this video to be too, too long. And I'm kind of in a talkative mood. So, yeah. Now I'm going to go in with this moisturizer. This is Chalk Chalk Glowing Moisturizer with Citrine. And it's pretty thick. So, I'm going to try not to put too much of it on. Which I tend to do. <laughs> Now this stuff smells really good. It's super light and my skin feels really good right now. Nicely moisturized, not too heavy. So my eyebrows are a hot mess. I'm gonna throw some on, prep my lids, 
and then we'll come back and start this eye look okay okay you guys i am back i have thrown on some eyebrows using my elf lock on liner and brow pomade and espresso and i used my born this way concealer to prep my lids today uh oh i don't know if i said but i'm not nude <laughs> I am wearing clothes today okay so let's go ahead and jump into this palette I'm not sure exactly what kind of look I want to do I think like I said I'm just gonna do a rainbow look then I don't have to think about it too much so I'm gonna do a rainbow look with this palette I think I'm gonna do a voiceover so this video won't be so long and I'm just gonna jump right in okay you guys so I'm starting out my look with the shade mood and this is a really deep, dark, navy blue matte shade. As you can see here, the pigmentation is crazy. It's very, very dark, very, very pretty. Now I'm going into this purple shade, which is Wasted, another dark matte shade. And it's blending in quite nicely with that blue. I'm just tapping it right next to the blue and blending those two shades together. Now I'm going into this red shade, which is Inferno, and I'm placing that in my crease area right next to that purple. I'm not dragging it all the way across to the blue, but I am taking it all the way across to my inner corner. The pigmentation on this red is very nice as well. Very pretty, and these colors blend nicely together. Now I wanted to try out the yellow. The yellow is called Keen. And while it didn't knock my socks off, it did show nicely. I was able to see the yellow. I think if I had a bright white base, it would have shown even better, but it blended in very, very pretty with that red shade. I really like how that yellow showed up. It's a very nice, soft blend. Now I wanted to blend out that, or soften up the blue a little bit, so I'm going into this pink shade, which is funky. And I must say the pink did not want to blend out that blue. Um, that blue was very, very determined to stay right where it was at. So I did go back and forth just a little bit with the blue and the pink to get that to blend out. And when I actually got it to blend out, it looked very, very pretty, but it wasn't easy to get that blue to blend out. Now I wanted to go ahead and do a cut crease type look, but I didn't want to do a cut crease. I just wanted to go in with one of the highlighters and see how they would do. So I went in with the shade Fair Play. It was so pigmented, you guys. I was shocked at how that highlighter looked on my lid. I mean, it was absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, I don't even think I needed to spray my brush. It was so bright. I'm going back into that red shade Inferno and just softening the edge of that highlighter and blending it into that purple. Now moving on to the face, I'm using this VDL primer. Now this is a Luna Layer Primer Fresh. So it illuminates the skin underneath your foundation. As you can see, it's causing a little bit of a glow to my face and I'm going in with my Becca foundation in the color mahogany it's quite thick as you can see and I'm just using my Juvia's Place foundation brush to spread a thin coat of this foundation all over my face I wanted to see what the coverage would look like with just one thin layer and as you can see it's going on very nicely I would describe this as more of a medium coverage for me because I have a lot of discoloration on my face but I think it looks very nice and I think the color works well for me so I'm going in with my Maybelline concealer and this is in the shade 55 hazelnut and I'm just going in to cancel out some of my dark circles as well as darkness around my mouth and I decided to use my new NYX um, I guess this is their blending brush, one of their smaller blending, I'm sorry, blending sponges. And I can't say it's my new favorite because it's kind of hard. And I don't really like hard brushes or hard sponges 
even when it's wet. Now I'm going into this Becca powder. This is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh powder. And mine is in the shade Golden Bronze. I must say it's very interesting. It felt very weird going on, but I love the way it just kind of blurred out under my eyes. It really did soften up my pores nicely, but it is something that I would definitely have to get used to on my face because it is a different feel. But I actually like how it blurred out my skin. Now I'm using my Sephora Pro Face Palette for my bronzer slash contour, my blush and highlight. So I'm using Jet Setter as my bronzer and contour shade. For my blush, I'm going into Red Carpet, which is the beautiful red shade in this palette. It's extremely highly pigmented, so as you'll see, I'm just barely tapping it on my cheeks before I blend it in. I went into the palette one time and I spread that blush all across my face, you guys. It is so pigmented. For highlighter, I'm going into the shade LA, which is the gorgeous gold shade in here. And I'm highlighting the high points of my face, the bridge of my nose, as well as my brow bone for this eye look today. So this highlighter is really, really pretty, you guys. I love this face palette. It's a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. Now I'm going in with my Pixi Glow Mist. This one is the one that has the Argan Oil in it, just because I like to set my powder a little bit before I move on. For the lower lash line, I'm going into the shade Make Waves, which is a really pretty kind of aqua blue shade, placing that on the outer portion of my lower lash line. Right next to that, I'm going into the Hype, which is a gorgeous primary green color. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so pigmented. It's beautiful. And right next to that, I'm going back into the yellow shade Keen and placing that on my inner corner for my lower lash line and just tapping that in to make sure that that shows up very nicely. I wanted to add an extra pop, so I'm going in with my new LA Girl. This is one of their neon pencils in the color Electric. You guys, these pencils are the bomb. They are the bomb. And I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara for my upper and lower lashes today. And for my lips, of course, you know, I'm going in with my Ellery and ColourPop Lip Liner. I mean, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and I'm using my new Colored Rain Lipstick in the color Cherry Blossom. I really like it, you guys. This color is beautiful. And to set this look, I'm using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Hey, you guys. So this is the final look of me trying out all of these products today. I must say, I am pretty impressed with all of the products I use. Now, for this Be Perfect Carnival XL palette, Y'all, the pigmentation on this thing blew my mind, okay? Blew my mind. I went in, as you can see, of course, with a lot of colors today because I wanted to get a true feel for this palette and the pigmentation is out of this world. I mean, whoa. <laughs> okay, so you guys just might get a three looks, one palette out of this, okay? It is definitely worth it the 60 or 58 dollars that i paid for it and then some i mean amazing and this is a palette where although it's not travel friendly i would definitely put this in my backpack and take it with me on the plane because this is all you need you got your colors you have your neutrals your warm tones cool tones mattes shimmers highlights girl this palette is all of that and i'm feeling it <laughs> okay i'm feeling it so as far as the palette goes, I am in love. Now, with the other items I tried today, I actually really like this Becca foundation. I'm not sure, it might not be my perfect match, but with my powders and bronzers and all that stuff, I can definitely make this baby work. So I like it. It feels 
very lightweight I didn't go in too heavy today I tried to take care of my discolorations with more so concealer I went in with my Maybelline concealer one that I never use I've used it like once or twice so I wanted to try it out just to give myself a little bit of a light coverage and I actually really like it it's a decent coverage for Maybelline but the Becca foundation I'm feeling it um, this primer you guys saw how it went on it's like an illuminating primer so when you put it on it does give like a little bit of a healthy glow to your face prior to your foundation and I'm not mad at it I'm not I don't know if it's helping me glow because you guys know I spray hydration moisturizer all of that stuff because I don't like to feel dry and cakey so I'm, I'm feeling that primer I was a little worried but it don't look too bad okay now this Becca powder this uh, what is it Hydra mist set and refresh powder it is very interesting it does feel cool and wet when you're putting on your face so it's a little bit confusing because you know powder is dry so it is confusing but I like what it did to my face I do I like it did kind of add an extra little bit of blur and the color was nice I'm always kind of iffy with colored powders but I like it I'm definitely going to combine those two together some more because I like it now this pixie milk hydrating milky mist I love this stuff it smells good it feels good I would just spray this stuff all day long I like it now I did go in with some of their glow mist as well which is the one that has the argon oil in it just because after I do my powder I like to spray that on my face to add a little bit of a natural glow I'm, I'm turning into one of them natural glow girls okay so I'm feeling that as well this moisturizer that I got in my Beautycon hauler bag um, I like it I like light creamy moisturizers for my face I don't like anything heavy or anything that feels like it's not really soaking into my skin I like this this is the chalk chalk glowing moisturizer with citrine very happy I got this nice full size okay <laughs> so not mad about that did I try anything else new today I think that's pretty oh my lipstick now typically you know with the look I look like this you'd want to do a nude but y'all I'm tired of nude lips I've been doing nude lips for a few weeks now and I'm over it I want to use some of my new colorful lipsticks so this colored rain lipstick this is in cherry blossom I'm feeling it okay it has a nice deep rich color it's not too too bright I like it it's kind of sexy kind of vampy so I'm feeling it and of course I went in with the rest of my face using my Sephora Pro palette this one is the deep one use this for my bronzer contour blush and highlight and y'all know I love this palette so this palette is the bomb too you guys so that's it for today's makeup playtime you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on my next video toodles